Earlier when you were speaking, you spoke about andropause and you made mention of menopause. As for menopause, you know, we have had it and had it and had it, but what, what is andropause? Um, well, andropause, uh, men go through a similar condition as menopause, which is called andropause, mm. and um, where the hormone levels fluctuate. So the female system is ran off of predominantly estrogen, and they do also have testosterone, but it's, it's a, at a lower rate. Mm. Um, for males, it tends to be our testosterone drops down very low. Our bodies are ran off of testosterone as the male hormone, mm. but during andropause, our, our, our levels start to decline, and sometimes the estrogen levels start to uh, increase. So uh, those, it comes with a whole list of uh, symptoms, uh, such as erectile dysfunction, low energy, low metabolism, um, uh, memory issues, um, also uh, weight gain. It's a lot of different issues that come with that. But at, at what age does this set in? Uh, each individual is different, but mm. usually the average age is around 40 to start looking for signs of uh, low testosterone. 40 years? Yes, 40 years. Wow. And then menopause starts when? Around the same time. Around the men. same time. 40 years a woman yeah. could have menopause at 40? Yes, she can. <laughs> wow. I is thought it, it was around, let's no, say, 60 years there. That's 40 is when the, when I say menopause, uh, there's symptoms where you start to fit into the category where your hormone, with menopause, your hormone levels start to, start to, uh, how should I put it? You emit less hormones. Mm. So a woman starts from 40 years going once she she can reach full menopause at a different level so maybe 50 she can reach full menopausal state where mm -hmm. her you know she's no longer having menstrual cycles she's everything's uh, her hormones are no longer active um, but that's treatable now it's treatable it's the symptoms are treatable I should say <laughs> okay. all right now uh, let's go back to the men issue because uh, you just kicked me a little bit there. I, I thought, <laughs> you know, it was going to be around like the 60s and all, but 40, we all need to look out. So if someone is forgetful, you know, there's a bit of memory issues, you know, he puts the pen here, he can't, you know, remember, this is why I left the pen, you know. Are, are those signs to look out for? They can or they are natural. They, it happens. They can be, but we all have, and I think even me, myself, a, a lot of people, we have uh, issues re remembering. But the thing is, uh, there's such thing as short-term memory loss. There's, there's a lot more advanced forms of that mm. where, you know, everything is like you forget everything, <laughs> you know. You, but every, it's, it's normal for us to forget at times. Mm. Where do we put our keys, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's a common yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. Where do we put our keys at? Or, oh, did I turn the light off? I can't remember. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, so that's normal. But there's certain things that you'll start to realize, hey, it's starting to get worse. And, um, and then it's not always that it's hormones that are causing that, but it's one of the symptoms. Because I, I had to ask, because, you know, sometimes I'm a bit forgetful. I'm like, hey, am I getting under post now? <laughs> and so I had to ask. But let's talk about you know the treatment you mentioned for the symptoms mm -hmm. now how does that happen well uh for those who are suffering from um i would say chronic um, issues which that would be a certain there's a range of where your hormones are mm. um, that's why i say it starts at 40 to decline but it, you know, it can it ranges. So we doesn't we don't treat it until it gets to a chronic state. So once it gets to a chronic state, then we can do hormonal replacement therapy, which uh, we can boost the hormone levels up. You know, but first there has to be a comprehensive assessment done to make sure what exactly is causing the decline in hormone production. Mm. Now to the all important issue about what should trigger somebody to come to you for these examinations? A at what point do I decide that, no, I need to go see Tyrone and the team? Um, well, first of all, they won't be seeing me. Mm. <laughs> they'll well, be seeing our, well, the they, team. Yeah, they'll be seeing the team, yeah. yeah. Um, but um, some of the symptoms, or some of the things that 
that um, you may have to look out for um, if you are replacing for your natural performance, such as uh, men's sexual performance. Okay. If you have to take a pill or you have to pop pills every time, you know, to perform, then maybe, you know, you want to look at the root cause of what's causing that rather than taking the medication to, uh, to always perform in the bedroom. Um, another thing would be very low energy. If you notice that you struggle to get out of bed every morning, it's just a struggle. Mm. All of a sudden you're putting on weight out of nowhere. Uh, these are all signs um, that you should come and get yourself checked out. Now, I know people would ask the question, is it expensive, you know, coming for, you know, all these processes and procedures and consultations and all? Is it expensive? No, even though we're, our office is located in East Lagan, so it scares people sometimes. Yeah. But uh, our prices are very affordable, to be mm. honest. Um, just for a screening, I think, I mean, for a um, consultation is only uh, 200, 200 CDs or something, okay. 250 CDs, I may believe. Okay. But it's, it's, it's pretty affordable. Okay. All right. Now, for, I, I just had somebody send me a question that, uh, are there natural ways, you know, to uh, avoid this or aging thing? Are, are there? Yes. Um, there's, I can't, you can't always be certain, but there are ways to, to um, kind of push it away, um, which are what we talked about earlier, the mm. extra, staying active, that plays a huge role into your hormone production. Mm. Sleep is a major one. Mm. People who don't get enough sleep, you know, at least six hours of sleep a day, um, that's a huge, also another hit onto your hormone system drinking water, taking the necessary nutrients. A lot of us don't eat our vegetables, so if you're not eating vegetables or fruits, then you need to be taking some type of vitamin mm. supplement. Um, so just a healthy lifestyle in general can, can um, help us prevent some of these things from happening. All right, quickly, uh, a texter just sent me one, and uh, he says something, I'm enjoying the conversation with your guest. He mentioned Islegon. Can you ask him to tell us where specifically, and if there is a number, I uh, would have to use to contact them. I'd be grateful. So people want to know about where you are, and uh, if there is email, website, or social mm -hmm. media presence, anything like that. Yes, uh, we we have the location is actually 64 Garden Street, mm. and that's um, in East Lagan. Uh, opposite um, Agape House, just about 500 uh, kilometers from ANC Mall, in All between right. Malcolm and ANC Mall. Okay. Um, we have a website, www.americanrejuvenationclinic.com. Okay. Uh, you can type it in Google. We have several numbers on, on listed on Google. You can even access the Google Maps. It'll take you right to the location. All right, but how about social media presence? Yes, we have Instagram, American Rejuvenation Clinic on Instagram, Facebook, also LinkedIn. All right, so in ending our conversation, what would be your final words to anybody who is listening or viewing us this morning? I would just say to everybody to please, uh, you know, let's, let's take our health care serious. And uh, especially with this, you see the prostate and COVID, I mean, prostate cancer is taking a lot of people out mm. early. COVID is going on right now. So let's take our health care serious and screen ourselves properly. Don't wait until three, four years after you're feeling symptoms, something's hurting you or you feel weak. Come and just get some laboratory work done. Check yourself out thoroughly every year, especially after 40. I'm grateful you made time to join me this morning, Tyler. Thank you. I appreciate it.